Everybody knows that Esteban on the left, clearly. Uh, so that is Esteban. He's working on GTK bindings to make uh, user applications or desktop applications. Now Martin on the right, that is the only picture I could get <laughs> online. Uh, and Pablo, they are working on block for Faro. So they are working on the future, the, the future IDE that we are going to have. And the thing is, okay, what do we have while the future is arriving? Because the future is, is still not there. So, and then uh, there's this guy that started working with us. He's doing a, an internship. He's called Remy. So Adrian is taking a picture to send to him. <laughs> that, like that. Uh, so I'm going to show his project. It's not my project. So, uh, and it's this. So, oh, yes, okay. I don't know what you can see there. Ah, whoa. The, uh, so this is a morphic window, and this is a Calypso. And here I can do, I don't know, what do you want? Senders, implementers, and then it opens another separate window. And I can do this. That was senders, implementers. Ah, look, we have, so sometimes, so it, there are still glitches. So this is actually the main Faro window, and here we have all the windows that are open. So uh, the idea is to have a, a path in the middle, like that we can still, uh, so, there are two objectives of this project. First is that we can mix and match GTK windows with the new things that Esteban is doing with windows that are, for example, in Morphic, like that we don't have to migrate all at the time. So we can actually kind of graduate our efforts. Uh, the other thing is uh, like that we can already, with this we could already exploit the having multiple screens and stuff like that. So uh, that is the thing. So this will be ready for Faro 11. This is being recorded. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so he's finishing his internship, but I will finish this project. So the idea is that, yes, we are, uh, the, the idea is to be able to take, uh, to have uh, native windows mixing GTK stuff, block stuff, and also Morphic stuff. Uh, he had to fix a lot of bugs in Morphic to be able to do this. You don't imagine. So it was very difficult, so uh, he did a really good job on that. So, yeah. So, uh, okay, I still have three minutes, so <laughs> why not? Um, hmm? Yeah, no, but I still have three minutes. I will consume some. Yeah. Uh, so, no, no, so, okay, this I don't care. So, one of the things I, did yesterday, because Philippe Marshall, <laughs> where is Philippe Marshall? He's not, ah, yes, here. So he asked me to, uh, to implement a, uh, the equality of byte arrays in the VM. So I implemented two versions to compare the, the different, uh, so differences. Uh, there is, I implemented one version that uses just byte to byte comparison, and one version that uses mem, uh, mem compare from the uh, standard C library. And I will just show the results because can I? Yes, maybe this is better if it. Oh, this is so ugly. Okay, so, so yes, I will do this. I don't know where is it. Okay, so I so actually there was one version that was already implemented, but it was not exposed in the VM. Um, then I implemented the second version, and then I compared with a couple of. So what you see here is. Throughput. So, how, ma how many comparisons can we do per second? Yeah. So, and these are the two implementations compared to the baseline that is the pure Faro code uh, that we have right now. So, here at the left, so we have byte arrays of 16 bytes. So, comparing arrays of 16 bytes uh, with these two implementations, you, we have improvements around of 20. It's already 20 times faster. Yeah. Um, and then when so this implementation, the blue one, is the one that does iteration byte per byte. The C compiler doesn't do, doesn't know how to do a very good job in there. So actually, it stays in around 20 times faster than Faro. Um, using mem compare, it can go for ha uh, really long arrays. Like I tested 16 megabytes, it can go up to 20, 200 times faster. But so I don't know. Uh, we have to check how to integrate that uh, and to see what are your special use cases. Um, so that's it, that, that was my ESUC project.
Uh, so thank you very much.